morning. First frost in South Yorkshire this winter. Yeah, the car was all iced up when I got in it this morning. Um, hello and welcome anyway to my daily vlog of life on a beef and arable farm. I've got to hurry up because we've got some cattle to go in this morning. I think we've got to get some out of the field. Um, it's uh, two highlands that are going. Um, we've had them about a year, maybe, somewhere around that. They're going to the Christmas markets uh, down in London. So, yeah, we got them in from the field and uh, get them off. Got the Scania Beast fired up. Ah, and she's sorted. Nice and frost free. I can't say it's warm in here, but um, you know, maybe it will be in a bit. Morning, Em. Happy birthday for yesterday. Did you buy a beer? One or two. One or two? How are you yeah. feeling today? Alright. Right. Have to de-ice your car? Yeah, I didn't want that. I thought it was 52 minutes past it. I've got to shit my car. Mm. Ah, are you late? 10 minutes. I don't know. I've got a five pack on a folder now. When you get your wellies on them, that's when you start work. So I'm in Scania now, setting off. Um, Andy and my dad are going to do some feeding up. My dad's going to take the uh, the Highlands in the little cattle trailer that we've borrowed off cow gills. And um, yeah, then I'm off to pick some uh, pick some cattle up then. Uh, so yeah, I'll get on with this job. So on my trip out today, I call into York Auction Market because I'm just at the minute waiting for a phone number to come through so I can ring somebody and say that I'm on there, my way to see them. Um, but my dad's not very good at sending phone numbers, so I think he's having to get M to text me over the phone number so I can say that I'm on my way. Um, so yeah, right, I'll just wait for this. So here we are going down the lane to Priory Vodka. Um, so a lot of potatoes grown in this area and I believe he makes his own vodka and sells it um, well online I think there's an online shop for it we might find out a little bit more in this minute nice though down here so while I'm picking uh, the cattle up today um, I just thought I'd have a look around Wignall Park glamping check these out you even got pizza oven like further use of this building, so at the moment it's just a laundry and a store where it's quite like it to be a communal area. area. Yeah. So whether we, you know, a bar maybe. Yeah. Well, exactly. Right. <laughs> For a the vodka, that, vodka yeah, we'll talk about that later. The vodka. <laughs> and we've got you know repeat business from you know people that have been three or four times and. They'll, they'll, they'll be coming from Leeds, you know, they're not, they're not massive travellers, a lot of yeah. people, you know, and Leeds Most and York, local. and uh, so quite local, and they, they, they'll just come, you know, with the kids for a weekend. So you are very close to York City Centre, aren't you? Well, of York, Leeds and Harrogate, really. You oh, can't right. see it from here, but I'll just put a posh shepherd's hook around the, around the corner. Around the corner for, uh, for couples. Really. Oh, nice. So this is the up and coming. Yeah, that's the latest addition for the... Uh, the top end of the uh, market. Is. So this is going to be like a hot tub around the back that, of there. Is that what that is? That, uh, that area there. So to get the privacy. Yeah. You've sort of more secluded in the woods. It and is. Yeah. Nice. So when's that going to be ready then? Well, the aim was to have it ready for Christmas, but realistically, it'll be, it'll be up and running for Easter for the Easter market. Nice. Does it really so These sweet. ones here. So these will sleep a family of four then. Bunk beds in there. To do. They do five to six, well, depending how big the kids are. Yeah. The, 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 the bunks are full sizes. All got toilet and shower, yeah, so yeah, he's yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, fully, uh, fully built on top. Is that, a, is that a wood burning? That, is it, they're all wood burning hot tubs. Hot I've only tubs. Got, well, I've got three here, and that one will have one as well. Oh, nice. And they're by far the most popular. But, With the so hot people, tub. And then people say, well, why don't you put a hot tub on every one? But I don't really want to. Yeah. Have two minutes. Of, you know, you, they can look all over that as a, a nice extra. Yeah, yeah. And we get the not reject bulls, but bulls that they can't. So there's sheep, there's a pond here, a wedding venue, some industrial lets. Got a thousand pigs in, the, uh, in these, uh, these buildings up here. You used to have a thousand pigs as well. <laughs> well that, 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 but that, then, you know, the, it was out there go more seriously into pigs because the pigs were wrecking some of the buildings or 
convert them into uh, industrial, really, yeah. or commercial. Well, I think you've maybe done the right well, uh, job with it. I think it's, it's all a time of life thing. I thoroughly enjoyed keeping pigs for, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 years. But now I thoroughly enjoy having the rental from the... Uh, yeah, having that income. Yeah. No, no, it's... Uh, Spinning yeah. spin all those plates, you must be a good manager. Well, he's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fair, haven't you? That's the thing, not yeah. be too greedy. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, Who would have thought there'd be a, a very popular gym here? Yeah, Lee Murphy's gym. What, is it an, yeah. an exercise gym place? Yeah, which people... Oh, right. Well, people will be well, in there now. They start at six, oh. six o'clock in the morning in groups yeah. and come up most of the day. <laughs> it's just, you know... You've got people coming in. And that's in two buildings that I used to keep pigs in. <laughs> and yeah, people come up the road and think it's a nice experience. That is, I could say the, something about the park he's getting fit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gym there, look. <laughs> Just gonna have a quick look around the distillery now. So, so how did you get into this then, Dave? I mean, there's a bit of a story, is there? There is, yes, yes. We've, uh, we've always had a healthy interest in, uh, in spirits, but uh, we had a... Uh, <laughs> A Polish guy helping us for uh, five years with uh, a knowledge of vodka. So we put our skills together and uh, we came up with Priory Vodka. <laughs> What's that, you, enter, you entered some competitions? Entered, uh, three, uh, three different uh, vodkas into an international competition. Yeah. We, uh, we got uh, best small distillery, best vodka, I can't remember what the other one was. <laughs> That's a good start then. It was, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You all think you make the best stuff, but you don't really know, and it's very subjective. You know, one person might think this is the best vodka ever, and somebody else might think, you know, that, that's awful. Yeah. Most of the producers buy a thousand liter IBC of uh, ethanol from uh, Langlitz. Yeah. And, and, make, and just it mix it, mix it sort of thing. We have to make our own spirit. That, that, that's that's where we are. We make our own base spirit out of uh, based on potatoes. We've got the, uh, you need a license for distilling. Yeah. So we've got uh, the uh, Harrogate uh, Customs and Excise guys out. And we, we started with, uh, with this small stuff. And they, they wouldn't give us a license for this stuff. So, it, you know, it was hobby, it wasn't commercial. Or right. They, you know, we could make vodka, but we couldn't make the quantity to make it commercial. So you had to go out and get a bigger so one? we got a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So is it... Are you heating it then? Is yes, that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we boil the potatoes up into a, a mash. Yeah. And then add enzymes and everything. And then put them into the fermenting tanks. Ferment it. Yeah. And then put them back into the still and distill the, uh, distil the liquid and get the uh, ethanol. So is that where it's coming off at the top then? Is that, or is that the. Yeah, it, where we distill it, it goes up, up each segment up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Until you've got enough heat and um, to get it over the top, yeah. and then only the ethanol is getting over the top. All your um, your other uh, substances and substrates are dropping back down, which is the art of distilling, really. Uh -huh. And then the actual ethanol comes out of something as small as that, which we call a parrot. Uh -huh. And then you fill your bottles we, up from there. Out, then. Yeah, we fill all ours, and that, that, it's coming out of there at ninety plus percent. Wow. And then, and then we, we start, Rocket fuel. Yeah, it, it is, yes. <laughs> and then we, we, we separate all the heads and tails and everything else like you do when you just do But uh, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the main heart, so uh, about 94% coming out of there. And then we store it to that and then water it. Uh, what are we down to get you? With, uh, yeah, we, we reverse osmosis and spring water and things like that to, uh, to oh, get So it's an art form then? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's, uh, it's an art it's, form. It's, it's a skill. Which evolves. <laughs> you, you, you just learn it over time, really. And then you got your own website that sells it. Is that right? Yeah, we sell through website and through local uh, local outlets and uh, fairs, craft fairs, shows. Yeah. Anything really. And From uh, the village hall to Birmingham arena, so, you know, oh, right, yeah. sort of. Oh right. So you know, yeah. Quite diverse. I, I like supporting the local stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm not sure they like spotting you. Well, <laughs> it always raises a smile when you're going out with a vodka. You know, it's, it, I don't know, it's just, I know it's alcohol and you have to treat it responsibly. But everybody's got a smile, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, any samples, you know, it just all that sort of stuff. Yeah, keeps it fun. And yeah. We, uh, we play, uh, I do actually make a range of cocktails as well now. All right, in a can. Which uh, 
obviously all been uh, we, everything's done in house. I had a little canning machine and. Uh, so, oh right, so you put it in the cans yourself. Yeah, I put it oh, in the right, can, wow. stick the label on the can. Yeah. Put the top on the can. <laughs> and uh, come up with a recipe as well. That's so, great. So uh, apart from vodka, we do, we, we do make a, a little bit of gin and a little bit of rum. So if you see these in the shops, you'll know where they've come from, or in a local bar. You'll know where it's uh, where it's been done. Nice. Yeah. So they, they even go to the extreme of putting it through a carbon filter. To just clean it a bit more and polish it up. Just polish it, yeah. The lens. So, what's this we've got here then, Dave? This, this is a rum that we make out of um, out of molasses. Uh, all rum is made from uh, sugarcane um, sap derivatives. So we buy uh, a thousand liter of. Um, Molasses, which can also be used for... Uh, which we sheep. feed to the cows. Well, uh, <laughs> we feed to the sheep sometimes as well, but you can distill it and make a, a very nice rummy. Uh, <laughs> if you want a quick uh, quick tip on making rum. That's it. Uh, see all so the we, we farmers going out to buy uh, <laughs> a lot of molasses we, we, do, we do declare uh, what we use it for when we buy it. <laughs> Mm, that's great. Well, I don't know. Have your knowledge of spirits? I mean, mine, mine is poor, but that, that is quite a nice rum, actually. Yeah, yeah. If you stick your nose in there, you can just get. Uh... Oh yeah, it does smell it's nice. And it yeah, is, yeah. 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 And the, Half a one of the best things about spirits is the shelf life. You yeah, know, we we can just hold it in here indefinitely, and it actually. Vodka doesn't really improve with age. Rum probably improves with age, but you know, it, it's got an indefinite shelf life. Yeah. So we're not. Yeah, you're we're not, not worried waste. if, if no, you don't not, sell so many this week. It's... We're not wasting it, you know, we can say, all right, we won't make it up until we get that. So it's good good stock uh, yeah, yeah. takeover, really. Yeah. So uh, pleased with that. I ought to get you to make me a Joe Seals rum that I can sell on... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then the gin, the gin, a lot of it, there's a lot of snobbery about gin. Yeah. But gin, no matter what anybody else tells you, is vodka with some botanicals in it. <laughs> So don't let them tell you it's a special it's anything gin. Else. So what's pink gin then? I, I, well, I, I, what's that pink, all about? Pink gin is gin with some pink uh, organic uh, colouring. So it, yeah. it's, it, it's just a very pleasant colour. That some of the girls like pink colour. <laughs> it seems to be the fashion. Yeah, it does, yeah. 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 Oh, so this is all your packing table and you're getting uh, everything yeah, together. It's, and it's certainly low tech. No, no. Everything is, uh, is hand... Uh, Handmade, and finished. I, I, I would like to get to a semi-automatic, but the scale that you need to be for the automatic bottling and lading equipment is just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, the expense you've got to put into it. You'd be working for the machines for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah. But we do a variety of... We've got chocolate, normal, yeah. toffee, yeah. passion it's fruit. It's actually a bonded warehouse, so all spirits are held in a bond in here. So oh, we right. pay the duty when it goes out of that door. Right. So it's a licensed bonded warehouse and that's a licensed uh, distillery. Not too many flavours left because she's marketing the uh, heavy bit <laughs> I guess this is your pink one. Oh no, rhubarb! Yeah, rhubarb! Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. And that's actually made from uh, rhubarb, from the old rhubarb triangle. We do have a sweet rhubarb as well, but that's a, that's a proper rhubarb. Yeah, so rhubarb triangle's not actually that far from us, is it? Like no, Wakefield, no, where? Yeah, and also what we do sell well in Yorkshire is... Uh, the, the, the licorice one. Oh, a licorice one. Huh. Oh, that's, Great. That's Check this out. So where did you get this from then, dear? What's the other stuff? Uh, it came from a local scrapyard about 20 years ago. We've been uh, making it into a competition car ever since. But uh, we've actually made a bit of progress lately. And on the, on the Malton, we were second in class, so we're very pleased with it. <laughs> So it's a rally car then? It, it is. It's rally right. stages. I, I do do a bit of uh, racing as well. I'll put, I'll put crop with uh, Darlington Motor Club. But uh, it's, it's mainly rally car. Yeah. Oh, so it can go then? It's, it's quick, yeah. It's quick. <laughs> it's just me, me that holds it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Well, thanks for showing us around yeah, anyway. It's pleasure. been very interesting. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll get on my way now. But wow, that was, I, what an interesting place. And... Um, yeah, real, real big thanks to Dave for uh, for letting me have a look around. Uh, they also do weddings here as well, and I can't remember what else it was. 
have got so many diversification options and them yurts. I'll try and find a link to the website or if somebody who watches it that knows Dave's can put it in the comments then um, then people can can find that out business. So I've just got back to the farm. Uh, we'll get these cattle unloaded and uh, I'll get my dinner done I think. Looks like Andy and Emma are having the same idea here. Dinner time. So this is turning into quite a long video. Um, so what I might do is just end it here. So if people have liked today's video, then please remember to press that like button and subscribe if you've not already. Um, and you could check out the next video from today, hopefully. I think it'll be today anyway. We've got a package for um, somebody's Amazon have been delivering. So we'll, uh, we'll open that up in the next video if you want to check that out. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And we will see you soon. Business.